Hi guys, welcome to yet another episode in Microsoft ERP Beginners Tutorial Series. In the today's episode, we are going to discuss about the batch numbers in Microsoft Dynamic 365. It's basically going to be the continuation of our previous two videos where we've already started our discussion about the batch numbers. And in this video, we are going to particularly focus on automatic inspection orders generation based on the uh, batch shelf advice date in Microsoft Dynamic 365. So let's explore this process further. Let's get into the video. Hello, hi guys, welcome back. And this is going to be the continuation of um, the previous video that we have discussed about the batch numbers. So in the previous video, we did create this batch. And in this particular batch, uh, we know how all of this date populated. So the manufacturing date is a date when it got manufactured. That is the products against this batch got manufactured. And that's the expiry date that got populated from the shelf life that we have keyed in, uh, shelf life days that we have keyed in inside the item master. And this is the shelf advice date that again gets populated based on the item master. And the best before date is normally before, slightly before the expiry date when we consider the product is good enough. So um, we have discussed about all of this and how they populate and all that logic. And we also know that during the vendor, that is during the purchase registration of an item in a purchase order, it's possible for us to override the manufacturing date based on the vendor batch date, override the expiry date based on the vendor expiry date. And it's also possible to populate the country of origin of the manufacturer, meaning the country of origin of the batch. Uh, so that can be set up while doing the purchase registration, which you can explore. We've already seen all of this. How do we uh, override all of this uh, in the previous video? Just in case if you missed it, then please go ahead and watch the previous video and then come back to this particular video. And in the previous video, I've also briefly discussed about the shelf significance of the shelf advice date. So the shelf advice date is a date when we normally recommend the store to go ahead or warehouse to go ahead and quickly do an inspection of the product before you continue keeping it until the best before date or expiry date. So this is a date which is a highly recommended date for you to go and do a quick inspection whether it's a food and braveries then you check the color and texture and the smell of the product or if it is another spare part then you want to do a quick inspection of the part and so on. So this date is where you might be doing that particular inspection. So um, uh, the Microsoft uh, Dynamics uh, gives you an opportunity to automatically generate the inspection order whenever you you are due for this particular shelf advice date so that is something that we are going to see today and the, you also notice a field over here which is called as a quality order status so even this field is kind of related with the same scenario so let's explore why this field what does it do and how do we trigger a quality order based on the shelf advice date so the criteria for us to trigger the uh, quality order is we might need to create a batch number in such a way that the shelf advice date exactly falls in today's date or past date okay so the criteria of a creation of the automatic quality order is either the date should be today or it should be the past date so let's create the data first maybe a batch number following that particular criteria and then we will go ahead and see how does this particular quality order gets created so for that let's pick up an item so let's go to the release product and pick up an item uh, that one i have already created an item it should be the last one in the list that one this item is a batch number tracked item as you can see this is having a batch number dimension enabled for this scenario to work obviously your item should be a batch number tracked item that's the first criteria and um, um, this particular item is uh, also having um, those uh, inventory management setup that is 
the shelf life for this particular item is 30 days and uh, the inspection date is the 15th date um, and uh, the the best before date is like three days before the expiry date so this is a basic setup i have done for this particular item and uh, let's first you know uh, create a batch for this item i don't think so it has a batch i do not want this uh, to have a, a batch number group because if i set up a batch number group then the batch number will be automatically created in the system and uh, if the batch number process is automatic, then the manufacturing date will be automatically be take considered as today's date. Then my shelf date won't be uh, today or, uh, you know, the, the shelf advice date won't be today or the past. So we will not be able to cover the scenario. So for that reason, I prefer manually create a batch so that I can manually adjust the manufacturing date in a such a way that the inspection date falls on today or on the past date right so for that reason i'm not going to put a batch number here uh, let me create a batch number for this particular item uh, let's just keep the number sequence unique so i'm going to put it as bat um, and we will manually adjust the manufacturing date to like the beginning of this month so then i save it then system automatically populates this date you know this date is 15 days from uh, the manufacturing date and the expiry date is the uh, is the shelf life period which is 30 days from the first so which is in this case 31 and the best before date is uh, three days before the expiry date so which is in this case 28 okay so we have created it uh, so now this particular batch doesn't have the inventory obviously so let's go and uh, create the inventory for this particular batch uh, so this is the item that's the item it's taking some time okay so let me go to the procurement module to uh, purchase this uh, particular item or, or uh, you know the purchase process already you know how to register a batch in a PO so uh, we've also seen the process of arrival journal and how to register a batch using an arrival journal so let's not do the same thing again and again so let's use an inventory adjustment for increasing the stock so we'll also cover that scenario so let me just go to the inventory adjustment click new uh, the stock is going to be coming to that warehouse and um, the item number is that one the quantity is 10 and um, um, that one is uh, I'm going to pick the batch there's only one batch for that item uh, so everything is else fine so this particular batch is going to have 10 in quantity so let me uh, just validate it and post it so now we have 10 item for that particular batch and all the 10 item are requiring an inspection which is for the past date which is the 16th of this month and we have already approaching the 29th of the same month so now if I go and uh, generate a quality inspection using a bad job, which is uh, in the inventory management module under the periodic task, we have a separate group called batch. So if I click on generate inspection orders, the system should try to look for all the batches which are expiring as of today and try to create a uh, quality order or inspection order but for the system to automatically create a quality order just like how we need a quality association set up for automatically creating a quality order for a purchase order scenario that we have seen already in the quality management topics likewise even in this scenario we need a quality association set up for the item okay so I missed to do that so uh, so let's do a quality association setup for the item which is again in the same section um, 
we have covered all this thoroughly guys in our previous parts and videos do please watch them to understand this better so i'm not going to go deeper into the quality association setup but this is uh uh, for those who are watching my video for the first time this is a setup that we've already done for purchase processes before uh, now we are going to do it for the inventory process so for that the quality association reference type previously it used to be purchase now it needs to be inventory okay i already promised you that we will see the quality association for sales for production for every single reference type so now it's time for us to explore the inventory uh, reference type so in this case the quality association should be inventory and the item needs to be the one that we chosen and there is no need to uh, put the site here and the event type is disabled for the purchase process you do have oh, i cannot move it without uh, putting okay for the for the purchase section do we do have an event type of when should the quality order be created either during the invoicing of the purchase order or during the purchase receipt process you will manually pick it so but in the case of the reference type being inventory you do not have this particular uh, event type of when should the quality order be executed so in this case it's disabled and it is mandatory for us to of course define the in quality orders inspection checklist i'm going to keep it keep keep it as this because it has a very simple checklist with only one item sample size in this case the entire 10 quality will be considered for the quality order uh, so there's no expiry date for this all quality order so i'm going to save it okay so um, if you also see here you will also have an event block meaning i will not be able to uh, invoice a purchase order uh, before addressing the quality order right uh, so and you also have an event type but in this case uh, of the inventory reference type you will not even have an inventory blocker because all those are not applicable uh, in this case okay so this is a very important setup so once you do the quality association setup um, and uh, save it and, and more details about the test group and the sample size we already discussed do watch the other video if you missed to watch it so once you have done with this then you are ready to go so then uh, you will be able to go into the uh, inventory management module again um, that one and you will be able to um, uh, go here and generate a inspection order so i'm not going to fill anything just so let the system search the whole list of patches for all the items um, and say okay so now the system is trying to generate a quality order let's give a couple of minutes and if you check here then the system says that the quality reference batch number is batch 001 that we have just created and that's going to be your quality order number so let me copy the number and see how it gets created so if I go back to the inventory management module uh, and check for the quality order section I'm trying to find it it's here under the quality management quality order uh, the very last one in the list let me just search for it yeah that one 10 quantity if you check the reference type it says inventory instead of purchase that that is because it, it got generated from the quality from the batch um, it has only one checklist that I need to review um, um, and of course uh, I will be able to just uh, in this case I'm not going to fail it I'm going to pass it so for the all 10 quantity the outcome is going to be a pass just quickly validate it go back so it is passing and uh, uh, hope you all remember that um, if it is failing it is also possible for you to under the quality group set up the batch disposition codes and enable the batch disposition code meaning if this particular quality order fails then the batch bat 0001 will be automatically the disposition becomes unavailable meaning QC fail will be tagged meaning the batch will be unavailable for any further use so that will happen automatically you can do that as well we have seen this scenario in the previous video do check that if you missed it um, but in this case I'm going to pass the quality inspection so 
uh, it's all good so now validate and just pass the quality inspection it's all good so meaning I have tested it and the product is still good uh, on 16th so uh, I'm proceeding with the product with my shelf life until it expires okay so uh, this is a process but um, you can um, you know this is automatically the system generates a quality order you can even check uh, uh, the filter view that is under the inventory management module under the batches uh, if you find there is a filter called as shelf advice as of date okay so um, so if you go in here the system will automatically show you all those batches which uh, expired the shelf date so we also have our batch here and it says that the shelf life is expiring by like uh, 16th um, and even here you will be able to see uh, whether uh, quality inspection is already created or not so in this case the quality inspection is already created and it is passing uh, just in case if the quality inspection is already created and if I'm checking from here and it says the quality inspection is failed and if I don't want to automatically tag the disposition code as uh, you know QC failed from the quality order directly system also gives me opportunity to reset the batch disposition code right from here as well so this is a manual process if you don't want to fully automate it based on the quality order uh, by manually checking the quality order you can even change your batch disposition code manually from here and uh, for this particular line you will also be able to see the transaction on how did we purchase it in this case it is through the inventory adjustment and um, we have seen a lot of ways how we can change the uh, manufacturing date and other dates so there's also another way that here you can reset the shelf date let's say after my inspection on 16th I feel that the product is very very good and I want to push my um, uh, shelf uh, advice date or maybe I want to push my uh, the best before date based on the shelf advice date to a later date maybe to maybe uh, 31st of uh, the month so now the system asks me because the expiry date normally automatically calculates based on the uh, best before date because in our case it's three days after the best before date system asked me whether I should also recalculate the expiry date automatically or let it be on the same date so I said yes it needs to recalculate then the expiry date automatically you know uh, gets adjusted accordingly so I, I, I hope it adjusted so now I will be also able to make changes to all the uh, shelf date and everything from from this particular screen as well okay so likewise uh, there are multiple options available here uh, for the best before date for the shelf day, date and uh, etc so you can just review them the functionality is almost similar and um, uh, under the batches there are also other opportunities from where you can trigger a batch job to do some changes uh, we've already used the update batch disposition status once to change the batch status of one particular batch in the previous video so uh, it's a similar way that you can also do for other batches you can just try to uh, test them yourself they are all self-explanatory so there are other bunch of areas from where you can still go ahead and update the expiry date shelf date and all for a specific batch so this was a very quick short video on how do we automate the inspection process based on the shelf advice date for a specific batch guys hope you enjoyed this episode see you again in the next video